Chapter 2, Lesson 6, Part 2, Create and Use Parameters. Please follow directions to create parameters and use parameters in your Alice animation. Learning target, I can create parameters and use them in procedures. Let's watch the animation. Bunny is hopping left. Bunny is hopping right and he's spinning twice and then he's spinning once. Now when we do this animation the bunny is hopping left and bunny is hopping right. So when we write procedures for it we're going to create hop left procedure and we're going to create hop right procedure. Now if we take a look at hop left procedure the instructions in here says this turn left do together this move up this move forward this move down. Let's take a look at hop right. This turn right, do together, this move up, this move forward, this move down. So if you take a look at the code for hop left and hop right, the instructions are almost the same except for the value left and the value right. Other than that, the code is same. So why repeat this code again and again for two different procedures? So instead of creating hop left and hop right, we are just going to create one procedure. So instead of creating hop left and hop right procedure, we will create just one procedure and call that as hop, hop. And in our instruction for turn left and right, we're going to use a parameter. So we're going to create a parameter here and we're going to call the parameter as which direction. Now keep in mind, we'll follow the same naming rules and naming conventions as we did for creating procedures. So in here, we're going to use the parameter. So instead of saying this turn left, the value for left or right is going to be replaced by a parameter which direction. So this turn which direction will make the statement a general statement. And then the regular hop. So let's take a look at a hop method for our biped. We've done hop procedure many times in class before, so you kind of know what your hop procedure would do. So we have do together, move up, move forward, and then we have move down. So this is how a biped can hop. Now if we want our bunny to hop left, we want to put an instruction here that says turn left. So before it hops, we want it to turn its direction. So we are going to drag and drop turn and put it at the beginning of hop and we are going to say turn right and we'll give maybe 0.25 value. Now if we wanted to turn left all we do is change the value from right to left. So in order for us to make that turn statement more general instead of saying left or right we are going to create a parameter and use a parameter instead of left or right. First step we are going to do is add a parameter. When we click on add parameter you'll see this add parameter window and it's going to ask you what's the name of the parameter. So I'm going to give which direction. We're going to follow the same naming conventions and main naming rules as we follow for the procedure. The second thing we want to do is select a value type. That means we need to drop this arrow down and we need to select what is the type going to be. Is it going to be a number? Is it going to be a true or false? Is it going to be a string? Or is it going to be any objects from the scene? or is it going to be other types. So turn direction is not a number, not a string, not any object, so it's going to be other type. So I'm going to put my mouse over this arrow and I'm going to look for turn direction that's all the way in here. So I'm going to select turn direction and press OK. Now that I've created my parameter that's of type turn direction, now I need to use that. I can use my parameter in my code in here. So when I put my mouse over my parameter you'll see a black box that's highlighting the value. It means that that's the place you can put your parameter in. So I'm going to drag my which direction and drop it in place of left. Now I've used a parameter in my turn statement and I made my turn statement more general. So instead of saying this turn left or this turn right, I'm saying this turn which direction. 
Now that I've created my parameter and I have used my parameter in my stern statement, I need to supply values to it. So I have to test it and supply values to it. So I would go to my first method and in my first method, I would supply values to my parameters when I call the procedure. Or I will supply arguments to my parameters when I call the procedure. So I'm going to go to my bunny and I will see my hop procedure in here. Now if you see, you'll see which direction equals to question mark, question mark, question mark. That means the value is not known in here. You will supply the value when you call that procedure. I'm going to call the procedure hop by dragging and dropping it in my first method. So now when I drag and drop, it's going to ask me which direction and these are my arguments. Left, right, forward, backward. These are my values which is called as arguments. So I'm going to select left. I need my bunny to hop left. So I'm going to run and test to see if my bunny is hopping left. Now I want to make my bunny hop right. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to call my hop procedure, but this time I'm going to supply my value right. That means my argument is going to be right. I'm going to click on right and I'm going to click run. My bunny is hopping left and then it's hopping right. So this is how I have supplied values to my parameters or in other words this is how I have given arguments to my parameters. Now when I take a look at the statement bunny is my object, hop is the procedure that I created, which direction is the parameter that I created, right is the argument that supplied to which direction. So object procedure, parameter, argument. So we use parameters to communicate with the procedure to make some general actions. Let's create another parameter for making the bunny jump certain height. When we want the bunny to move up, we don't want to say one meter. Instead of one meter, sometimes we want two meters, sometimes three, sometimes four. So instead of one, we're going to create a parameter and make this statement general. So let's click on add parameter. Let's say the name of the parameter is going to be how high and then drop this arrow down and it's going to be a decimal number and we would check this, press OK. Now we're going to drag this how high and drop it in place of move up one meter because that instruction tells us how high the bunny is going to move. So we need to put how high in place of down as well because if it's going 2 meters up, it has to come 2 meters down. If it's going 4 meters up, it needs to come 4 meters down. So now that I've created my another parameter, how high, and I have used my parameter in my move up and move down statement, now let's go supply values to it. So I'm going to go to my first method. You must already have the statement from a previous call. So in here, how high, you would see that it's red in color. That means you need to supply value to it. So I'm going to drop my arrow down and I'm going to select how high I want the bunny to go. So I'm going to select 2 and then click run and the bunny will go 2 meters high. Now also if I want my bunny to go how far that means he's right now jumping only 1 meter far ahead. I want him to make a big jump like 2 meters or 3 meters. Again I could add another parameter and I could call it as how far you can say decimal number check this box press OK and I can track this how far and put it in place of move forward how far now that I've created another parameter how far and I've used that how far in my move forward statement for the bunny to make a big jump now I need to supply the value for how far. So I'm going to go to my first method. My hop procedure calls are already in there. Now our new parameter is how far. Values are not supplied for it. So I'm going to drop this out of town and supply a value. How far I want the bunny to go. I'll pick 2 and I'll pick 2.
want my bunny to say something, I'm going to put instruction for bunny to say something. Right now I made him say hello. So instead of saying hello, I want him to say something. So I don't want him to say hello all the time. So I'm going to create a parameter and the name of the parameter I'm going to give it as say something and the value type is going to be text string and I'm going to check this box and I'm going to press OK. So now I'm going to drag this say something and if you see it's only looking for my string value I'm going to drag it and drop it in place of hello. Now we have to supply value for it that means argument for it. So I'm going to go to my first method and if you see say something is red color that means there's no value supplied to it. So I'm going to drop this arrow down and I'm going to click on custom text string and I'm going to give a value to it. Now since this bunny is turning left so I'm going to say turn left. Same thing for say something for my second instruction say something for my second method call I'm going to drop this arrow down I'm going to click on custom text string and since my hop is turning right I'm going to say turn right and press OK. So now I would click on run to test to see if my bunny is hopping left and right correctly. So this is what my procedure with parameters looks like. As you have seen, I've created hop procedure and I have created one, two, three, four parameters. And I've used the parameters in my instructions. And then when I want to test my parameters, I'm going to supply arguments to it. Arguments are the values to the parameters. So I'm going to go to my first method and this is where I actually supply arguments to it. So if we take a look at our statement in here, this bunny is our object. Hop is the procedure that we created. Which direction is the parameter that we created? And right is the argument. How high is the parameter? 2 is the argument. How far is the parameter? 1.5 is the argument. Say something is a parameter. Turn right is the argument. So now this is how we create parameters and then use them in our instructions and then test them by supplying values called as arguments in my first method.